Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandor Gaming, and we got some brand new leaders revealed in the brand new Opio 10 set. We have a red purple sugar leader for the Don Quixote Pirates, but we also have more exciting news in the form of Usopp of the Straw Hat Crew finally making his debut in the One Piece TCG as a brand new leader, blue and black, which is a scary color combination. Let's get straight into this. So first things first, I'm going to go over Sugar. Uh, she's actually pretty awesome. So basically, during the end phase of your turn, if you have a Don Quixote Pirates type character with 6,000 or more cost on field, you can just set one Don as active. That's cool and all. It's just a worse Dolphy. Because if you don't know, uh, blue, oh, it's not blue, uh, purple green Dolphy has the effect that during the end phase, you just restand two Don, so you can activate events. Well, Sugar is basically saying, hey, you get to restand one Dawn if you have a 6k or higher uh, Lovely Lovely Don Quixote Pirates type character on field. But that's not the only good thing about her. The good thing about her is that on your opponent's turn once per turn, when you activate an event, set up to one of your Dawn from your Dawn deck is active. Meaning she ramps you once per turn when you activate an event, which is kind of crazy. So she is a 4 life leader. But there's a lot of really good events that are purple and red. So basically she says, hey, you activate an event, you protect yourself from a swing, and you get the ramp on. On your turn, you're ramping because you're playing cards like Mr. Tubon Clay. And on your opponent's turn, you're ramping. This deck is going to ramp like crazy, which is kind of insane. Not to mention it is a red-purple combination, meaning that you can play all the crazy purple and red payoffs, which... Uh, Bandai has been giving a lot. We can play 10 drop Shanks. We can play 10 drop Ace. We can play uh, Ace. My apologies. Goldie Roger. Uh, we can play Dragon. We can play a Kaido, the 9 drop. We can play the 9 drop Big Mom. There's so many ways to build this deck. It's super exciting. And not to mention, we're just going to keep on getting more uh, Don Quixote Dolphamingo support in the form of purple cards. Because it's going to support not only the Sugar Leader, but it's also going to support the older leader in the form of green, purple Don Quixote Dolphamingo. Because that leader definitely needs some love, which is pretty awesome. Uh, th that is not all, though. Because we also have a brand new... Brand new, spanking new, out of the box, Usab leader, blue black, which is kind of crazy. So if you don't know, uh, blue black is Sakazuki's colors. Uh, that leader was absolutely broken. They had to rot of him, and it's also uh, Rebecca's colors. So now we have a brand new Usab leader, and he looks pretty amazing. So let's just get straight into this. So first things first. Uh, I want to say that the artwork for Usopp is absolutely phenomenal. He is now the uh, lovely, lovely seventh straw hat we got. We're still missing Frankie, Brooke, and Jimbei left as our final three straw hats that still need a leader. But uh, Usopp looks pretty awesome. So let's just get straight into his abilities. So first things first, your two cost or higher address Rosa characters get one cost. That's a pretty solid effect. I like that the, the newer... Uh, black leaders coming out lately have been like increasing the cost. I think they're kind of the gimmick of all these new strike leaders, which is pretty awesome. And then on your opponent's turn, once per turn, when effect may be activated, when one of your dress Rosa type characters are removed from the field by opponent's card effect or KO'd, you may and you have five or less cards in hand, draw one card. That's a pretty solid ability. Basically saying, hey, if your opponent's going to KO your characters or remove them from field, Using card effects, you just get a free draw one if you have five or less in hand. That's a pretty solid ability. He doesn't need a broken ability to be his color spread. He is blue and black. Uh, if you don't know, black's whole gimmick is reducing costs and KOing them. Blue's whole gimmick is killing characters by using really, really powerful events that are like, oh, if you have a character on field, remove it from play. Like, put in the bottom deck, it has some of the best removal in the game. So the fact that black can like lower the cost for the blue cards to remove shit is kind of scary. And so far, the only two leaders we had was Sakazuki, who was so good. They had to ban him and errata him, and also Re Re uh, Rebecca. And Rebecca, the only thing holding her back was the fact that she can't attack. She's one of the first leaders in the game that can't attack. Now, she's ain't the first because that would be Water 7's Iceberg. But she's one of like the second to third leaders that can't attack. She came out of the same set uh, as our lovely, lovely Vivi. 
and both leaders can't attack, so they both kind of suck. But uh, this leader can attack, and he is kind of crazy. Uh, he looks awesome. His artwork is amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Uh, this is going to be supporting not only just, um, what's it called, Usab as a leader, but this is also going to be supporting uh, Rebecca as a leader. As Even though this is a brand new leader, it just means we get getting brand new Rebecca cards. We're going to get brand new Kiros cards. We're going to get brand new cards to support older leaders and make them meta relevant again, which is pretty awesome and pretty scary. Uh, I'm really excited to see where this support goes from here. Uh, I'm not sure which support will be which. I'm not sure if they're going like, to mix and max the colors. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, the purple cards are going to be the Dr. Healthy pi uh, Pirates. I'm pretty sure the blue cards will probably be like Rebecca's cards. So they'll probably be like, oh, this is the Dress Rosa card. So this is the Usopp cards. And then Caesar's Clown can probably be like the red cards, I think. He's red blue, so I probably he'd probably be the red cards, which is pretty interesting. And uh, we only go from there. So I'm really excited to see where the rest of these leaders go. But uh, this is some pretty big news, and I hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. See you on the next one, and bye bye. <laughs>